unendless possibility of unlimited help. Yeah, hello, Mr. Watson. Good afternoon, sir. I'm so glad to see you again. I have a question. I have here a sufficient quantity of material and this could send six thousand energy positive to the back of the arm. But for the starters, the magnet has been very much worn. Already it is so clumsy, we are going to create a new easy clip for the next clip. So, I show you how to import your material and create the composition in which you are interested. Then, I show you how to make a blower and transfer the liquid from there. Then, we are going to use blenders to integrate the various parts into the clip. Finally, I also show you how to import the final video using either After Effects or Vector or the other two again. And now, let's start with the first part of importing your material. Okay, so here we are now in the panel and you can see your final clip after it has been transformed and you also can add the images or the audio to really basically create your ultimate clip with all the colors. And this is a startup welcome screen and when you click the winner you can close it and then uh, we are here in the main After Effects panel and so the After Effects music is not playing, you can see that it consists of many different uh, panels here and it might be quite scary if you would say I want this and I would want this one up and this one down and I also draw to concentrate and can control between three different panels. So this is your focus panel, this is where you basically select all the items that you need for a focus. Composition they will allow for having a more visual and for the viewers to feel what I mean. I have all these other clips here in my hand control so I can grab them in the moment and um, also if your interface is not working exactly like this or the visual is drifting that's not it at all so all these windows here or these panels can be arranged freely and you can control concentrate and color shifting keep the mouse uh, set and move it for example here and now you can see the panel is here and I can control the size and resize of the panels so you can mess up your best shot completely here and then you can come back to it if you did this however if I'm really curious with the panel like my project panel you always can see all these different windows you can find for example the Combine Clip from the Sketchbook and you can also see that it has a different material to begin you can leave the sand on the center of the panel to change the composition so it was with the Combine panel like this okay now we need to import our final clipping so our video clip or the images that we have prepared to use to create the easy clip or the easy clip for the winner and we can do this by right clicking here in our project and choosing import file and an alternative is to choose a file and say here um, import file or magnet file and then you can select um, file another third option is to directly drag and drop this from your window here for your um, after effects render and these are the uh, clips that we're going to use so you can see here we have our file drag and click file save and then select and then we've got here the clip with the visual with the still and the final mixing and we have here the goes or wants or foreground and scene of the image of the video clip that's the clip image where we have the um, goes field already imported from the panel and then the edit and the still light and mixing and then can you see the final clip um, so now we need to import this so what I can do is I select all of it and drag them here with the mouse or I can also drag them here with the control and keep the mouse set you can see them here and you can see them in black this is the final foreground and then um, they have the black inside the box already so the next thing we can do is that we can rename those clips and make it a little bit uh, easier than it is uh, already now. We can 
Et là, je trouve que c'est quelque chose qui est quand même beaucoup plus fun que ce qu'on vit dans les films. Quand on sort du cinéma, on se dit, ah, c'est quand même beau, c'est quand même bien foutu, mais ils ont quand même bien fait leur job. Là, on arrive dans un parc d'attractions, on est dans un espèce de train de guerre.
what I said in my book, I was a previous Gen Z company and I had broken a lot of levels of my own finger. And in my fifth year, the email came in and it's like, we really have to make this thing small and here is something that you know, it's not too thick to be proud, it's not too expensive of this kit and also this new duration that we're doing it now. And this is exactly the duration of our kit. The duration is like a disc uh, Dragon Ball Z kit of the disc that I have on my iPad. Okay, so this is uh, this is the text that was on my first book, which is also on my Gen Z document, which is on my site, which I collected. And that took the delete function of the uh, text that was on the right book I had on my iPad and on my desktop. I took the left book with the delete function and I added a little bit of delete function on the left so we are only lo left with this text that we have here and I can look at the first book and see what my name is and so later on I can see what my second book is and so on 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 and okay as you've already seen I have a red book element here that was just a different font than the previous one and I have a book here which is a dark blue and you can see why I use this book and this book and why this book and this book is still the fire element so I take the fire over here and I drop it and now with the right button I put it on the set and so on here and now I delete the right button and the fire appears in a different window and that's it and now we have a blue book and a fire book element and when the fire has been completely replaced it looks and now a bit better and here the fire has been replaced and now it is not so bad anymore okay we can now arrange those elements with names right so i have this here with the color pink and the shape of the red book and in time i can also group this book into this book thing if you look at the fire print that appears on the image you can see that this is a white print so it's not as bad and only after a few frames i group all the elements into this book and i have this one here so at this point the object looks better so if i want to print the kit i can just uh, group here into the window of the kit and just copy and paste all of the elements that i have on the right and we will do the same thing with the left so here we can see all the material and the text that is here is the same text that was on the top of the text that is here but the left is now the color of the book color and but the outer one is ah now we can see that the end part here is now out of the the disc so when i do i temporarily drag it into this and now i can drag in the end color into this book roughly here to the end where the original red book was placed and now i want to see a different display right so and i can continue it by just uh, clicking on it and i can zoom in so i click on all five of that and i can zoom in here and there is another option i hope that you do each of you find this and you can see what you can do with the other the properties of the fire print right the text can be only that for a certain amount of time. I find here an anchor point and put it where you have more paper uh, capacity. And what we want to change is we want to look here at this collision. So just I can see that this collision gets selected here and these numbers appear when I click on it. And to show you, I can also change these numbers here in red too. So I can click on it and say I want to change it to pink and then to blue. I can also press the mouse button, keep the mouse button pressed and change the style a bit as well. So now I can click left and right, and then I change these numbers. So this goes from 80 to any number you want, and to blue and then to red. Another thing I can also do is to scale. So the nice thing about scale is also if I scale it below 0%, or like minus 0.6%, you can see it flip. And what you can also do, you can just click on this number here and click. If you disable this here, then you can see each number separately and you can change the 
what the child is doing. And for most children, it seems like the background is not what we look into. It's just now seeing it combined with layer, with higher layer, with the background, with a different face. And you can also try white pixels, which is also very good to learn. So you can use the head with highlights and particular pixels to learn the face. With other materials, it can be blue with color dots, other vivid lights, that's what we have there. So a good idea is to yeah, just try different blending methods and see which one works best for you. You can also learn a good keyboard shortcut here. You can give it the hint of shift key or hidden shift key to learn the left and also the right. Then you can try to do the different blending methods. Yeah, so shift key for left click, shift key, shift click to press and uh, hidden key minus uh, minus key and just try to do the different blending methods. I actually like the manual shortcut the left, so the keyboard left. Yeah, and it looks higher and better for me. Just like the shift key on the face and hidden key S to give you the cherry and the shift key on the tail maybe on the tail. Then you can also re-enable this here to make now everything stay uh, in the proportion you want to. So yeah, you can maybe around 80% make it stay in the proportion you want to. Maybe that's a good place to put it too. Now to the face here and the only thing that remains now is to also um, put it on the right side of the face. Um, so or maybe at this point you really want to have visual effects where you have some the whole situation in one view. One thing that you have is uh, a tray here, a window for preview, and the preview window has this play button. Um, if I just hit play, you can see that the video is playing. It also said it's yeah somehow playing in this tray, and you have some effects here. Yeah, so this is just always something to keep in mind that it can't play in real time because it's not going to be fast enough. Um, but what you do instead and what you will do in an iPhone app for sure for any time is go to preview with this button one preview yeah forget about all of these you will rarely use them just this one button and what you need to have then for this one button is the work area with this pathway on top that you can move by clicking on it and um, you need to have some line and match shot with it and if you want to see a preview for example this area here you just click on one preview and then some a green bar will appear that says for this I have already a preview and it's called uh, the clip this one now. If you click on it, you can see it there on the tray as well. To the long and thin use of it. And then to the hidden endless possibilities and unlimited to the long Play to one preview with the tail and the tray will be moved one click too. You can see it's playing with the tail and the face here is just something you can click on. So now it's just playing again and now it's being moved and now it's playing forward backward backward and now has a zigzag effect. Yeah, but I actually always like this thing. Um, but if I want to see a preview on another area, I just use this, click on the again one preview and you just see it starts to move in the one preview and if you click on it again it plays in the one preview as well so now you get the idea how it works and now if you again look at this part see the shift key that um, the time is given or so the, the higher of the the four is given for this preview of it and then to the hidden endless possibilities this part is what you're looking for. So for this, then you need to you have a then the fire will actually start to burn up. So now you can see it here. So you can see it on the other side. If I take again this clip, not the beginning or something, but in the middle I press on the middle key to move it. So it says it starts at this point and it will burn up. Yeah. Don't let it burn up. Now to get to this part. Endless possibilities and unlimited time. Thanks for watching.
Beispiel die Entwicklung äh, bei Ubi, ähm, äh, die ganzen Steps und Systeme und das Kaufmenge und das Geld. Ähm, es gibt auch eine Extra-Folge Tipp, äh, der heißt Tool of Choice. Das Tool von Ubi ist das für Ubi ähm, das Rubber Inside Art Editor und das Plugin App, das für Ubi eine Medium äh, Editorin ist. Tool Zero ist das. Ähm, whenever uh, so we are going to show the tools um, uh, related to the Inside Art Editor, so this is the tools from the Tab Zero work area to the area um, that we want to export it to. In our case, we want to export it to the end panel here. Right, so we set it here in the center to zoom in on it here, and everything. And then we go to the position and say add to render view. When we do this, you can see that here in the window we call render view, and in this view we have now one entry in the user composite that should be rendered. And we can add more compositions if we like. So we can add several compositions in this process and can export all of them, or can add more to the render view. And then you can see here the Ubin render settings, the end trim settings, the grass settings, the panels, the rest from the user we give choice. And the offset module is actually the kind of Ubin settings we want to have in our shader render. Here we have also different presets, maybe you want to have six outside videos and you want to add more medium, you can add white, black black, and then you can see now the color is black and it's a party video. Um, and you can modify them. By this here, I just choose one of the presets, black, 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 and now I can modify it by clicking on the top first one. And there you can see that I have actually the left left here is the video in the window and it's a party. And I can also change this way I want to have the from the audio only we can have the wave file, we can uh, export the H two hundred and twenty six six and then the H. 264 encoder with the video you can have the flash video or whatever you like uh, one thing i also like a lot is to uh, export the clip sequence because this will give you not the video clip but single images for each track yeah so a lot of clip images um, and the nice thing about this is that if you have a folder containing a thousand of clip images if you need to change something in the process you don't need to replace the entire file again and again so this was the achievement of the clip sequence. You click on save, and then you say here save, and it should be um, saved in some directory. And here you can see here we save it, and so we get now a lot of zero composition clip files. Zero composition zero composition one, zero composition two, zero composition three, and so on. And the nice thing is, let's say this rendering takes half an hour. Um, later you get the idea. Hmm, Maybe I can use a file here and then it will a little bit cleaner by having some text and panels. And you only need to replace re-render the clip for this part. Yeah. Uh, so if at the beginning I have changed, I can just replace those clips here by choosing the work area I click and just rendering all of them. Um, and you only do the clips. Yeah. This really renders the track the worst way. At least as long as it's set like this here in the render settings. So the default first setting of this I make say um, kind of work area I want. And then it flips maybe for this to create it and then it's done. Yeah. Uh, so if you now really want to create these images, you hit on render and that's it. And it's done rendering and creating all these images. But I'm not going to do this now because I want to show you the second option in the Color Palette Tool Tip process. So yeah, the second option to the Tool Tip process is to save your app in this pro process. Yeah, hit on File, Save as an Apple, and then you start the Adobe Media Interface. So I have here uh, the Ultras like this. Uh, actually, I have here the Gemma Keeper here, and then I have this here in the Media Interface. But anyway, you go to File and then Add After Effects to Media Interface. So I just add After Effects to Media Interface. Um, yeah, here it is. So you add After Effects to this. And then you have here the option to navigate on your um, uh, uh, on your hard drive to this After Effects process. 
but that it also has to have a sort of a red field that shows you here all the compositions of the system. So this is a comparison here. So we have this real composition in this program and that's this control. And now we can see so of the possible solution for this system. So again we have here only this two speed track and other fields of support which can directly Input to this, so we can here say that this input right here is not using here, and that this was used for this real time format. And this is a three track loading format, so maybe we can see this clearly here. We can use this right here to feed that to it, and then this here is now a non stage station, and that is the case in this example. Yeah, then we click on a start render queue, so we click on this Vato Java start, and here finally we will start our system. Okay, this was the first real lecture on the scope of what Field Spacer do, and gave you a nice, not too complicated, but very motivating starting point for doing After Effects. I hope I also see you again in the second lecture. Uh, my name is Matthias, and this is the video tutorial for the Nano World Web Assembly.